guys and welcome back to No Blair Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and I should really stop saying that until I actually put up a cosplay body paint but that is not what we're here for today. Today I'm doing a rainbow half cut crease and I will explain to you what the difference is between this and an actual cut crease in a second. Um, yeah, ignore my hair. It is raining and humid and my hair is very unhappy right now and also in timeout. So, um, <laughs> for a half cut crease, uh, basically the difference is that you don't cut the crease all the way. Self-explanatory. I know. I'll kind of explain as we go. But, um, the beginning part of doing your crease first, like all that color work, is still going to stay the same. So I'm going ahead and applying my more warm tone colors on the actual crease and we're going to have the cooler tone colors on the lid. So I'm going in with not technically a red but a really dark pink. It works for what I'm doing though. <laughs> then I'm going in with a coral. The key to making this look good is honestly just going to be blending. So make sure that you really blend the colors into each other. And also, if you need to go back in and add a little bit more of any specific color just to make sure it stands out on its own, go ahead and do that. Also, you don't need to use the same exact brush for the entire look, especially if the brush is bigger than your entire eyeball. That's just a thing I like to do. <laughs> I'm a bad influence. I know. It is what it is. So, um... Here I'm just kind of blending, but I'm going to kind of explain what a half cut crease is. It's basically, um, you know how in a, a like full cut crease you basically split your eye from the inner corner all the way to basically outside, so you kind of like create a wing almost? Well with a half cut crease you don't necessarily do that. You stop about like halfway or three quarters um, the way across your eyelid and then blend whatever color you have on the end part where you don't put the concealer into the rest of the look and that kind of makes it more cohesive. That's basically the difference. You're just essentially using less concealer. Which, yep, it seems less complicated and that's kind of because it is, but you also have to be um, more accepting to spending the rest of your life blending just to make it look okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the green in the inner corner, um, yeah, really the like, I guess the, the plus side of doing something like this is you can put colors next to each other that wouldn't necessarily blend well together, but that you think would still look good in, and kind of cohesive in a look together. Um, so like I'm putting that green in but I'm also going in with a little bit of blue next to that like pinkish color and sometimes that doesn't look that great. Same thing with the green, putting it next to like a, a reddish kind of color when you blend them together it looks kind of gross to be honest. Like red and green don't exactly make the prettiest color when you blend them together. I should know, I've tried it before. It was a weird time. <laughs> Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend these all together and I also took a little bit of purple and that's gonna be my kind of transition color between the two looks because, you know, red and purple and blue kind of are a family. They go together. Um, but like I said, just make sure that you're blending everything in really well. They kind of, that's kind of the hard part in this look. You just want to make sure everything's very, very well blended. Also, try not to overblend because that's not good either. You'll understand what I mean in a little bit, I promise. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is apply some eyeliner since I never posted that video that I said I was gonna post. I'm just gonna tell you what to do. Uh, basically what I like to do is draw the stick on the outer corner first, then drag my eyeliner from the point, the furthest point that you did, straight to my eyeball and then just color it all in. Honestly, if you draw the the shape that you want, essentially, that triangle first, that's gonna be probably the easiest way to do this. And then you can just fill it in. 
Um, if you're having issues with getting that line straight, especially that bottom line, because that's really what people are going to see, um, you can take a business card, um, a credit card, a piece of paper, anything really that has a flat edge and put that to your eye. I wouldn't necessarily recommend tape because that's not good for your eyeballs, yanking on it all the time. But, you know, some people like that. Next thing I'm going to do is apply some mascara. This one's one I'm trying from Milk. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I mean, it made my eyelashes super black, but lately my eyelashes have been kind of like straight and then curling at the end. It's really weird, but I don't know. We shall continue to test it and see. Now, this is what I meant by over blending. If it if you blend your eyeshadow too far down, you can always use some concealer to try to clean it up. Um, I'm doing the lazy person's way because really you should just take a Q-tip or something and fix it, but I already did my makeup, so. Which is why my sponge is dirty and gross. Um, so what I did was use a full coverage concealer, blend it out, and then I took a, um, the same blending brush I was using, and this time with a little more self-control. <laughs> That I seem to be lacking um, I went in and just kind of blended it out just to make sure that that line where I put the concealer isn't so like harsh is definitely the word I'm looking for <laughs> so it's not so harsh um, and it looks a little bit more complete but this is the finished look so I hope you guys enjoyed it I definitely had fun doing it I don't know I like doing these more colorful looks and the fact that I had like one rainbow-ish look on my channel really bothered me. So that's why you guys are getting two, possibly three. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And let me know what else you want to see in the comments down below. Um, like body paint ideas because I swear I'm going to do them. <laughs> a big project for December, but this is not December. So, see you guys!